Kia ora. Good morning and welcome as we celebrate the 17th Sunday of Ordinary Time here at Good Shepherd Church in Auckland. A special welcome to visitors and newcomers today and to those joining us on Shine TV. The presider at this Mass is Monsignor Bernard Kiley. Let us all stand and sing together the opening hymn, We Are Called. Te ingoa o te matua te tamaiti o te warua tapu. Peace be with you. We gather for Eucharist, those of us here at Good Shepherd Church and those beyond, to acknowledge the presence and action of God in our lives and in our world, to be a part of the proclamation of the kingdom of God, the reign of God in the here and now. For the times that we've fallen short that we've missed the mark, we acknowledge our need of God's grace, God's peace, God's mercy. Lord Jesus, you call us by name to follow you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are the good shepherd leading us to eternal life. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are our way, our truth, our life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us praise God as we pray. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And as we pray, let us be mindful of the intentions we place before the Lord today, the people especially we carry in our hearts in prayer. Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy, bestow in abundance your mercy upon us and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, he who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. At Gibeon, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night, and God said, Ask what I should give you. And Solomon said, You have shown great and steadfast love to your servant, my father David, because he walked before you in faithfulness, in righteousness, and in uprightness of heart toward you. And you have kept for him this great and steadfast love, and have given him a son to sit on his throne today. And now, O Lord my God, you have made your servant king in place of my father David. Although I am only a little child, I do not know how to go out or come in. And your servant is in the midst of the people whom you have chosen, a great people so numerous they cannot be numbered or counted. Give your servant, therefore, an understanding mind to govern your people, able to discern between good and evil. For who can govern this, your great people? It pleased the Lord that Solomon had asked this. God said to him, Because you have asked this, and have not asked for yourself, long life or riches, or for the life of your enemies, but have asked for yourself understanding to discern what is right. I now do according to your word. Indeed, I give you a wise and discerning mind. No one like you has been before you, and no one like you shall arise after you. The word of the Lord. Lord, I love your commands. My part I have resolved, O Lord, is to obey your word. The law from your mouth means more to me than silver and gold. Let your love be ready to console me by your promise to your servant. Let your love come and I shall live, for your law is my delight. That is why I love your commands more than finest gold, why I rule my life by your precepts and hate false ways. Your will is wonderful indeed, therefore I obey it, 
the unfolding of your word gives light and teaches the simple. Lord, I love your commands. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, we know that all things work together for good for those who love God, who are called according to their purpose. For those whom God foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, in order that he might be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. And those God predestined, he also called. And those whom he called, he also justified. And those whom he justified, he also glorified. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, the kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in a field which a person finds and hides again and out of joy goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant searching for fine pearls. When he finds a pearl of great price, he goes and sells all that he has, and he buys it. The Gospel of the Lord. Over the last few Sundays, we've been listening to parables, stories from the Lord about what the kingdom of God might mean. What is the kingdom of God like? We've had beautiful stories that capture the imagination. The kingdom of God is like a little mustard seed, the smallest of seeds that when sown becomes a great tree. As we um, <coughs> reflect on uh, these beautiful images, these homely images in a way. We uh, think of things like the yeast that a woman uh, kneads into dough so that uh, the bread might rise. Uh, an image as it were for our own actions when it comes to putting the kingdom of God or the reign of God into place or practice. In our first reading today we hear Solomon uh, make the very clear point that of all the things he desires, he desires wisdom. Hence, we talk about the wisdom of Solomon. And as we uh, think about um, what our heart's yearnings might be in life, it might be an opportune time to ask ourselves, for what do I yearn most for in my life, in our world? When we think about what's happening globally, what do I yearn for most? What is my deepest prayer? And part of that is what our vision is in terms of the kingdom of God. When we talk about the kingdom of God or the reign of God, 
We uh, often think about the Lord's Prayer and we pray, your kingdom come, your will be done here on earth as it is in heaven, acknowledging that the vision we have for the afterlife, for fulfillment in life, is uh, one that we're called to put into practice in the here and now, to make the kingdom of God as much a part of our reality here and now as we possibly can. As we uh, reflect on today's uh, gospel, we think about the pearl of great price. We might think about, again, our own priorities. Who is important to us? What is important to us? And as we uh, think about uh, the life of God that we are called to partake in, we might well ask ourselves, what am I being called to? We are called to walk with each other. We're not here on this earth just for ourselves, but the sense of well-being that together we walk as family. And again, we are called to put the kingdom of God into action in the here and now. What's the pearl of great price in my own life? What drives you? Where are my priorities? Do I need to sort of reassess things and think, Well, this is false. This is meaningless. What's really important? As we gather for Eucharist each Sunday, we have this revisiting, as it were, uh, of of our values and our priorities. And we uh, think again and again about these beautiful images, these parables that are put to us in the Lord's um, teaching as we hear them in Matthew's Gospel. And pray that we have the courage and the wisdom put our faith into action, to not really just give lip service to it, but to allow our faith in Jesus Christ and his teaching to permeate our very being, so that when people encounter us, they might indeed think, I think I've just encountered the reign of God. I think I've just had a taste of God in this person. I think that through my encounter with this person now, I've had a sense that the Lord is with us. So people be instruments of God's love, God's kingdom, God's reign. And as we uh, celebrate Eucharist today, uh, let us uh, allow ourselves to, uh, to be touched, as it were, by the very presence of God who desires for us total fulfillment, total uh, well-being, as it were. We work for ourselves and for each other. Let us stand and profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We place our prayers before the Lord. We pray for ourselves and for the needs of our world. We pray like Solomon for the gift of wisdom, that our hearts may be open to the wisdom of the Holy Spirit, especially when discerning good choices in our lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that we may see the gift of faith as like a pearl of great price. May our sense of God's presence in our lives be strengthened by our partaking in this Eucharist. We pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Pope Francis and the Church as we prepare for the upcoming Synod in Rome. May our hearts be open to the voice of the Holy Spirit at work within the Church in our time. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for peace and justice in our world. Mindful of Christian communities throughout the world that daily face persecution. We pray especially today for the church in Syria and in India, particularly in the state of Manipur. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that we may be good stewards of creation, mindful of the legacy we leave for future generations. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our loved ones who have died and those whose anniversaries occur at this time, that they will know the fullness of God's love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O God, we place our prayers before you, spoken and unspoken. In your wisdom and great love, hear and answer them through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the loving Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father of mercies, faithful God. For you have given us Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord and Redeemer. He always showed compassion for the poor and the powerless, the sick and the sinner, and he made himself neighbour to the oppressed and the afflicted. By word and deed he announced to us that you care for us as sons and daughters, and so, with the angels and saints, we exalt and bless your name and sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. <clears throat> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it. He gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples. He said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We eat this bread we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Stephen, our Bishop, the clergy and all who serve you. We remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, 
and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, his spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, forever and ever. Amen. 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 And together we pray in song as Jesus taught. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. One of the official languages of Aotearoa New Zealand is sign, New Zealand sign language as we do so so often here in Good Shepherd Church, let us offer each other the sign of peace in sign.
pearl of great price. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. O God, we receive the sacrament which celebrates the memory of the death and resurrection of Christ your Son. May this gift bring us closer to our eternal salvation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Friends, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.